Doggy, and I am going to play with my team Fiending for Spring. I made it during the event, or I don't know, maybe I made it before that, but uh, I played it a lot during the event, and it's actually got a pretty decent win rate, 77.3%. 17 and 5 can't complain about that um i played it since the event and it's done quite well now there's something that i mean not that everything needs a name but i was calling it the residual event effect where you know you got a bunch of new players and they play during the event and they like oh cool pet battles is fun and then they keep playing and so i was playing against a lot of like new players lately um and I haven't been battling that much. I've been playing Hearthstone. Hearthstone is the most fun when a new expansion drops. Actually, when, yeah, I was going to say even more so when a new year comes around because they rotate cards out and stuff. But, um, yeah, pretty much when the expansion, before everybody starts, like, before the, before the professionals have figured out the best decks to play with, and then everyone's like, I'm going to use that because I can't think for myself. Sorry, I, I have a pretty pretty strong negative feeling when it comes to net decking. But um, anyways, it's fun, and I've been having fun with it. And my decks aren't that good. I've been playing Dragon Paladin, Pogo Rogue, and um, Elemental Shaman. And trying not to, I'm trying not to play any of the... Uh, any heroes that i have uh, golden heroes already like like i already have golden drew the priest druid hunter and warrior so i'm trying not to play those right now I'm trying to get all my golden heroes but anyways i'm gonna try not to talk about that basically i've been playing mostly hearthstone so since tuesday um i probably played more than i want to be playing video games these days striving for the perfect balance in my life between work hobbies and relaxation and i throw video games into relaxation not hobbies because anyways oh and exercise that's a big one but <clears throat> yeah so hopefully that's all the jibber jabber you'll have to hear from me about hearthstone and life because that's not why you're here you're here to see the pets battle pet battles fiending for spring let's find this team over here this goes fun rotation um i think i just wanted to st wait wait no, I was going to say, I wanted to start off with the Spirit of Spring. I did want to start off with the Spirit... I, I mean, I did start some teams by saying, Hey, I want to play with the Spirit of Spring. Maybe just one. Let's see. Let's, let, let's see how many Spirit of the Spring... Oh, it was just that one. Okay. Now, I wanted to play with it. I made this team. It was like even... Oh, four and one, whatever. You can't tell. It only played five battles, and it was during the event. But then I was playing with the Ravager Hatchling and the Energized Mana Fiend. And you can tell you're going to have some trouble against Mechanicals here. These, this dude is weak against Mechanicals. It doesn't have um, any other attacks but Magic Attacks. Weak against Mechanicals. This dude is going to take strong damage from Mechanicals. So I really needed something that's good against mechanicals so i have something right there the spirit of the spring and let's see how this goes okay most people oh that you're oh that's so gross that's so gross you're gonna like do sons of the root on all three pets that is just so gross so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start with this dude so when you go under, I can um, put this up, and so there will be a little surprise waiting for you when you come back to the top. You're going to soften up my back line like that? Oof, that's actually doing strong damage to me. Let's get rid of this guy quickly. You're going to do it again? Oof, I'm scared of that guy because of the trap. But maybe uh, this guy doesn't have a trap. 
Oof, damn. Okay. Um. One and a two, and now you go under. Okay. Now I was thinking what I was gonna do is I was gonna put this ice tomb up. So when you come up, you'll have a surprise. Maybe I'll still do that. Uh, I think I'll go to this guy. I'll tell you what I was thinking in a moment. I don't know if I was thinking the right thing here. So here's that. That'll charge that up even with the miss. And then I'll hit you like this. Now let's see. Are you going to bring... Okay, you're going to bring in Rag. If you throw the trap down first, there's no need for me to dodge. What are you going to do? Are you going to go right under? Okay. You are. All right. So let me do this. Let me let me do one attack here. Hopefully I can get that trap to proc. No. No trap. What I... Oh, okay. So you're going to do a magma wave here. So let me do this. Okay, good. Oh, lucky me. Okay, so the plan was to do that. So that when he sets off the magma wave, I'm just going to, like, be trapped and die anyways. But luck <laughs> had something different in mind. Okay. Now... This does it's down versus critter. I'm still not out of the woods yet. Let's go ahead and sweep up with the Ravager Hatchling. So what I want to do here... Okay, so he's under there. Alright, well that could have been worse. Um... Okay, this might work out, because you're going to do 70 and 70. I think we're fine. 70, 70, and now I get to... Uh, and 70, sorry. Really? It does 3 times 70? Why, why is that? Shouldn't it just do 2 times 70? Okay, I got a little bit confused there. But I think we're good here, because I'm going to be able to slow you down. You're faster than me, but I can throw slow you down. It would have been nice if the beast racial pro oh it didn't it didn't proc yet, but alright, well you could crit me with this right here. Okay, beast racial proc, you're gonna be Yeah, we're good. Uh, you're still slower for that many rounds. We are good. Okay, well that took some doing. That took some thinking, but hey. <laughs> it's nice to get to think about pet battles. If I don't get that crit, do I still win? I don't know. Ragnaros is going to get some, do a lot of damage on the back line with um, those uh, magma wave or whatever you want to call it. So, I don't know. I don't know. trap goes off and kills me then before I even get the attack off then I'm really in trouble so I don't know um, I think I, I think I got pretty lucky with that crit right there all right do I want to do discos three or do I want to do this is a fun team okay I want to talk about it some more okay so here's uh, I already talked about the coverage. There's even better coverage. But let me talk about the team's weakness, first of all. It doesn't have um, a diversity of attacks. It's only got three types of attacks. 276, 276, 211. Okay. I don't think they brought that guy for its speed. It's 309. I better pick a pet here. Um, let's start with this. Well, 
What other matchup? Well, this this guy's actually going to be good against the, the, the crab, because the crab's going to do weak damage. And he's going to be good against the flyer. The beast is going to be bad against both of those. So even though this, this uh, brittle webbing is going to mess me up, I don't think this guy's going to be good against either of these two right here. Oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that in the 190 beach beast damage each time. Oh, do I really want to do this? This is going to kill me. I'm going to die right here. This is the end of me. Come on, get a triple O. One, two, three. Okay, I can handle that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right, because because again, my beast is bad against both of these. Because the, the this guy probably has surge, so my um oh, here let me I better pick a pet. Um, and now the energized mana fiend is good against both of these dudes. So what I was saying was this triple attack is going to be bad against the uh, crab. Oh, so you're doing this. You're saying okay. My raven's going to beat your... Uh, okay, so I'll let you beat up... I'll, I'll let you... What the hell? Okay. Um, interesting. I'll finish my thought later. Cause... All right, let's see. Oof. Okay, well... I'm going to get out of here, but before I get out of here, I'm going to put this up. Now, here's where that coverage comes into play. Weak. This guy is going to be weak against. I'm sorry, he's going to do weak damage to my man. I mean, why did I almost hit past there? That, <laughs> that's surely not what I want to do. You're going to be stunned next time anyway, so it would be a waste of my evanescence. It's okay. Where's that nevermore at? Barring a miss, I should be okay here. Alrighty. Uh, I kind of want to do that, but not really. <laughs> because I could miss into the darkness. And I think I'm going to be fine with without it. Alright, there we go. Okay, so back to... Oh, so well, there was a thought. I couldn't spit it out. Um, this Ravager Hatchling is doing a triple attack, is, is doing a speed-based attack, and I assume that crab had surge. It did have surge, right? It used surge once. So the surge is going to be bad against the crab, and then the ravager hatchling is going to do weak damage against the flyer. So I figured I better use the ravager hatchling against the spider because it's just going to do bad against the other things. I mean... It wasn't great against this, but actually it did a good job because it got that third attack in. Um, that was probably big, but uh, yeah. So coverage for this team. Well, I already told you, these guys bad against mechanical. So let's get a guy in there that I started referring to all my pets as guys all of a sudden. Let's get a pet in there who's strong against mechanicals. But here's where there's even more coverage here. Okay, what's going to do strong damage to this elemental? Aquatics. Well, while we don't have any flying damage, we do have a magic pet. Aquatics are going to do weak damage to my magic pet. So it's not the best coverage there. Might be better if we have some flying damage, but that's what I would prefer. But we don't, but that's still good. You saw this guy was fine against the aquatic. Okay, but what is this 
pet going to be weak against critters? This guy is strong against critters. And even more so, well, not more so, but this guy's weak against flyers, strong against flyers. So this is a really good coverage. I mean, it's a really good combination of pets. I'm actually thinking of finding different <laughs> magic uh elemental and beast pets like in coming up with another trio of this family it's a nice trio um let's see what else what, what was i gonna say i was gonna say something else about it but oh yeah yeah the weaknesses and i think i, I already mentioned this it's only it's only got three types of attacks it's only got magic beast and elemental attacks what do I mean by that? Hopefully, you know what I mean. Like, like this guy's a flyer, but it's got other kind of attacks. It's got like a beast attack, even though it's a flyer. So, one of the, um, you know, the, the guide I made back in 2013, which is seems like uh, a, a, a long time ago. <laughs> I was gonna say it seems like it's longer. It, it seems like it's farther back every time I mention it, which is like going to be obvious because you know time is just moving in one direction so i didn't say it but i said it anyway but um i wasn't gonna say it but i said it anyway um yeah and it was on my list of things to do to make my pet battle guide video but i definitely want to do that this summer i got just got too much going on this semester I'm totally going off on, a ta on, on many tangents here. On my guide from 2013, uh, or in my guide from, uh, that I made in 2013, there's a section on diversity of attacks. It just means that, you know, you want the, uh, a wide range of attacks. Like you can, if you get, if you have three different pets, with three different types of attacks and they're all separate you're you're covered well you're you're going to do strong damage to you know 9 out of 10 of the families of pets so it's a good idea to diversify your attacks but it's not always necessary as you can see here basically i'm doing strong damage to flyers critters and mechanicals I'm taking weak damage from humans. I'm taking weak damage from aquatics. Or, sorry, aquatic attacks, human attacks. I'm taking weak damage from mechanical attacks. So, Yep, there you go. Well, usually when I do a pet focus, I like to do... I mean, team focus, I like to do at least three battles. At least. But... I don't want to just sit here and blabber for 10 minutes. Whoa, dude. Deja vu. It's the Matrix. It's the Matrix. Oh, my God. We're in the Matrix. Okay. Um, What else? What else? What else? I, 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 I don't have a lot to talk about pet battles. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's try to look for more. Let's try to look on, for another one of these trios. Or Energized Mana Fiend. I'm loving it. It's been out for a long time, and I never. I mean, I used it a few times, but six teams. That's it. This was it like a long time ago, and I went four and seven with that team, which is really bad. Oh, this is, I think, uh, a good team that I was trying to make. But let's let's try to keep this trio. So, anyways, uh, let let's go with the energized mana fiend. Let's start with it because it's it's I'm having fun with it right now. It's a good turning out to be a good pet. Um, Zeraj would be the other would be another good pet. I really like this pet. I feel it's pretty balanced between its stats and its move set it's got a good move set for a fast pet but it's not super fast so it can be beaten by speed and it's racial sort of i'm sorry it's uh its stats make it make its racial sort of work against it um 
it's that sort of work against the racial. Sorry about that. Uh, being that it has an H here, you, you don't you don't really want an H on your magic pets because, well, magic racial is based off of your pet's HP. You lower HP is sometimes better if you're gonna use the if you're gonna make use of the magic racial because they can't be dealt more than 35% of their maximum health. Let's see. We'll come back to that. Broom's another good pet, but it actually, yeah. Well, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Okay, so I'm strong against flyers. I got nothing against beasts. Humanoid's gonna do. Uh, he's got that crush attack. What are they gonna start with? People like to start with their flyers, but this is in the first slot. People often start with what's in the first slot. I'm going to go ahead and go with this guy. Oh, no, he started with what's first. So I'm going to do my charge. Oh, how many? It's going to take me four attacks. One. Two, right? 292. And now I'm going to go to 365. 365 plus 365. Five will get the job done. So he's going to do one hunting party on me. And then I'm going to hit for 365. I don't want to be hit with that second hunting party. But I'm not going to because this is going to do 365. Yay for math. Okay. Um, now if, if, the, uh, if the, the flyer comes out, I'm definitely... <laughs> I'm not going to stay in for this because uh, it's going to be bad for me. Um... Oh, okay. All right. Well, what what we really wanted to happen there? Well, hold on. Let me let me finish that thought in a moment. Okay. So he's gonna do his predatory strike. I don't want to have that up on me. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this dude. He didn't do the predatory strike. Okay, but I'm fine. What do I want to do here? What's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this guy back in. Because he's going to get hit with this ice tomb and he's going to be stunned. I will... Oh, oh yeah. 328. 328. I was thinking 228. It's not going to work. Yay, math. Again, for math. Okay. Now I'm faster. And I should. Well, uh, I don't want to say I have it wrapped up yet because that Ravager Hatchling is going to still, even though the, the, the idol is going to do weak damage to it. Um, hold on. Let me, I, I want to I wanna reset my Evanescence here. So I'm going to bring in the Spirit of the Spring. I know I'm doing a lot of swapping, but no stuns? Okay, good. Oh, that means he does not have the deflection right there. So I can just throw this, this up. I thought I'd have to worry about... Oh, he's a demolisher. All right. Well, I think we got this. You going to sandstorm me? No, you're not. Okay. Well, demolish hit me, but I'm a... Elemental, so... All right. That was sort of anticlimactic, you know, like, oh, oh you're gonna, you, you don't have, you don't have deflection, and you have demolish, so not the moveset that I would have chosen for an idol, but I don't really play idols, so, yeah, well, there was a lot of swapping going on by me, and it ended up working out. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because I'm like, I think I've done a pretty good job today. I think I'm just going to stop after three battles. Because, you know, lately, these past, I don't know, two years, I've been making a lot of mistakes because I don't pet battle as much. And it seems like every video I make, I'm like, oh, what was I thinking? And then, oh, I still won because I got lucky because I'm the luckiest person on the planet when it comes to pet battles. 
maybe. Um, actually, I did get lucky that first one, didn't I? And then I was thinking, didn't I kind of get lucky the second one too? That the third one I didn't get lucky though. I think I just had an opponent opponent who didn't have the right moves sadness i'm like i played really well and i'm like wait i got lucky the first one and something's telling me i got lucky the second one what was the, what was the second battle i can't i once i start making a video and talking i can't remember that far back what was i what was i playing against in the second video first i had all the elementals and then i don't i, I honestly don't remember isn't it sad uh oh the spider the spider um no i played okay in that one too that one that one was fine i think but uh yeah i think i'm good for now <laughs> really that's why i'm quitting isn't that sad um 80 percent that's good and i'm tired too okay okay let me let me just back up a little bit i'm, I'm starting to feel the effects of my morning swim i don't remember if i told you this last video or not Okay, so I'm done talking about pet battles for now. Good video, thanks. Bye, see you later. So what 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 I was gonna say was I'm swimming from Alcatraz in May. They're basically gonna take me on a boat. Well, not just me, me and other people, and they're gonna drop us off at Alcatraz, and we swim back. Okay, so of course I've been training, doing open water swimming, and swimming just drains me okay like i am exhausted for the rest of the day so it's kind of sad actually but so i'm like starting to feel it a little i already took a nap and it's already starting to i'm already starting to feel like oh, a little bit more so but let's do one more because this is fun okay <laughs> i couldn't stop i couldn't stop there Come on, three battles with fiending for spring. I got to get an L in. There's got to be an L in here somewhere for me because, you know, clearly clearly my win rate is not 100%. So I think it's kind of legit if I play three or four battles and I lose one. Why isn't it going? Because, look, my, my overall win rate's like 75%. So if I just get start making a video and I win three and I don't lose, then... It's kind of not really how it, how it goes for me. But if I lose this one, that's exactly how it goes for me. Okay, so let me think about this. I'm not going to lose it intentionally, of course. What might this person start with? My Mana Fiend is going to be my hero here. So I don't want to start with that yet, because what if you start with the turnip? Nice call. Oof. Let me do this again. Let me try to do as most damage to this guy as possible, because I don't want him to soften me up with those tidal waves. It's going to be an instant replay of last time. Maybe, maybe not. 185 to each ally. Let's get some triples in here. One, no triple there. Oh, snap. One, two, three. Okay, because he has so much health, this time I am going to put this up. This guy have Nocturnal Strike? No, he had Nevermore. I think I'm going to bring the Beast in for the same reason that I talked about last time. You know, my beast is not going to be good against either of these two. So I might as well take some damage from this guy. I mean, I might as well do some damage to this guy. And let me see. Is that going to kill him if I do both of those? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not feeling as good on this one. I should have started off with my... Ravager Hatchling against this guy. Because now, like I said, he's not good against either of these. Um, Did he have a shell shield? He had a shell. Um, oof. Let 
One, two, three. That definitely helped. Okay, let's let's do it again. Give me another triple here. One and a two. Not quite a triple. So he's going to start surging me now. So let me go to this. Beast racial proct. Oof, that's not good, man. So after this is over, maybe he tries to kill me right here. Or maybe he puts up... Oh, either way, he's got a shell shield. Shoot. Oof. Okay. You're going to heal this turn. You're going to put up your shell shield this turn. And now you're going to keep surging me. I'm going to build up to 270. That's the maximum I'm going to get. Seven th I could kill right now with this. And then what's going to happen? Is he just going to come in and destroy me? I think that might be my best option. Because it's going to take me a while to kill him with this. 270 plus it. Well, I better do something. I don't think that was the right thing to do because now this guy's gonna kill me. And I just that was a dumb move. That was a dumb move. Yay! There, there we go. <laughs> There's my 75% for you. And I made a dumb move. Awesome. Whoa. Two sixty four. Oh, did he? I thought he cast that already. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm confused. Uh, let's see if we can't get a miss here. Two sixty four times two. Oh god. And now I can't even do anything. This guy's got. Okay, that will. I told you I should have quit. I should have quit while I was ahead. Oh, the embarrassment. I just totally tanked that battle. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you now. So, well, I'm at 75%, but I ruined a perfectly good video by my, my spidey sense was telling me, dude, you need to quit now. And I didn't. And. I had a pretty bad loss because that death, that use of my, um, the use of my surge of power was a bad move because what do you think is going to happen when you, so I kill the crab, but then looking at the rest of my pets, I mean my other pets, there wasn't really, what am I trying to say here? Like that scenario was the only thing that was going to play out. I'm going to have, and, and they even like, didn't they do something stupid there at the end? Like, didn't they use their Nevermore or something like that when I wasn't even attacking? I don't remember. But after I used the Surge of Power, I'm just done for two rounds. And then they're going to kill me. And then my, uh whatchamacallit hardly has any health left and then at the end i just made some bad swaps so way to way to end on a depressing note man i was doing fine and then i totally screwed up but whatever three out of four this is my favorite team to play with right now this is totally my favorite team to play with right now that's pretty much all i've been playing with since um since uh i came back from the from the event but i think i'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go back to hearthstone now I should just quit i'm bummed <laughs> it's it's okay L losses happen um 
you think I'd be used to it. I've only lost 3,023 times since April of 2015 when I started using Rematch to keep track of my records. So you'd think after 3,023 losses that I'd be used to it. But I hate playing bad on videos, but whatever. I don't know what I was going to... Um, let, let me back up. What I should have done differently is apply the same logic that made perfect sense to me the the second battle i'm like hey my my beast is weak is not going to do good against the against the flyer or the aquatic so let me use it against this other pet and somehow that logic escaped me that last game i got too much seawater in my ear and it just <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the best excuse so far i've had the little brother i'm always saying i'm tired but seawater in the ear is a good one i had seawater in the ear what have you ever had seawater in your ear salt water bay water come on it would happen to you too no but i'm just kidding um i should have started with my ravager hatchling so there you go three and four i'm sorry um three and one three out of four not bad for a team made up of an Energized Mana Fiend, a Ravager Hatchling, and a Spirit of the Spring. I definitely suggest you play this uh, the team. And I think I'm going to try to come up with another, um, another trio of Magic, Beast, and Elemental. Maybe uh, diversify my tax a little bit more. Okay? Thanks for watching. Sorry to end on a sour note. It's really not that big a deal. Um, I'm going to go play Hearthstone. Bye.